<clears throat> right, welcome back to the hacking class. Okay, please kindly share the link to your friends in your WhatsApp group so that they can also join the class. Yes, those complaining in the chat session. Um, I'm now starting. Okay, today basically we have a lot to do. The last time we met, or the last time we had a class, I introduced you to various types of attacks. We didn't complete. Today we will try and complete that then we will look on to how as a hacker you can gather your information about your targets then after that i will introduce you to some hacking softwares i'll give you links so that you go and download them then um we will take on from there <laughs> We are Any question? Okay. Please, if you are not talking, kindly mute your mic for me. We are beginning. So, yes, please. Yes, I read that hackers prefer using the Linux OS to the Windows and Mac. Yes. The Linux. Actually, the Linux or the Unix, they are built in such a way it run, it's suitable for running the hacking softwares. But there are softwares too you can use Windows to run and you can use Mac to to run it yes but if you want to enter into deep hacking I'll, i will recommend you using linux or unix what we are doing here is to introduce you to hacking so that at least you get the basis you get the real understanding after that if you want to actually venture into it target companies do real like money work or real dirty work you would have to set up your own lab that's using this line loss and unix operating system but for testing people you can use windows and the the the, the mac os too okay since hack yes hacking is mainly done in consoles as you can see from my screen consoles I can you don't have interface whereby you'll be clicking no all what you'll be doing is console typing and few clicks right let's begin so what you are seeing currently from my screen is a hacking interface whereby a hacker can have multiple consoles at a time so you see this console I'm moving it's a program console this one i'm performing or oh, it's it's actually dedicated to targeting targeting someone and this one this console is is used for the mining of bitcoins mining of bitcoins so you can see wallets here mining here you can also see this console this console is neural network tracing so if i want to target a company i'm reading and a company is an artificial intelligent company i'm reading its neural networks to know how it works so there is a console for that too we have i have this console as a password cracker password cracker if i want to crack your password or something i'll find a vulnerability in your system and i want to crack it this is a password cracker and you can see it for yourself so i will input your your networking those doing networking here 
you can see there is a networking IP address here. Yes, so I will input the networking IP address, then I'll specify the database I'm targeting. And I'll start my cracking. Oh, this interface is on um, Mac OS. But don't worry, I'll teach you how to get it on your on your you can even get it on your phone. After after this, I'll show you where and how I did it. Where and how I did it. So, so that you can actually be going through and be learning things from it. So you can open the exact thing in, on your device. You can open the exact thing on your device. I'll show you how to do it. Okay. So that when you go, you are going to study it the next time. This, this, this window, this window, I'm hovering or I'm moving around is for the compiling of my codes. It's for the compiling of my codes. Someone is talking. Don't worry, I'll drop it for everyone. I'll drop it for everyone. everyone. Hello, sir. Yes, please. It seems I'm I'm lost. Okay, okay, come home, come home. Let me start. All right. Okay. Okay, so I'm starting. Okay, the interface you are looking or seeing right now, it's actually. Someone is talking again. Let me see. Please take your time, right? <laughs> Other the interface, the, the Bitcoin stuff, is it real time or can be rich? <laughs> take your time, right? Take your time. Take your time. Okay, you 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 know everything. You can sit at your own pace and do whatever you want to do. Take your time. You are going to learn a lot of things. <laughs> okay, so the interface you are seeing right now. This window is a hacking interface. So your hacking screen will be similar to this. Yes. So now watch my 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 screen very carefully. The window I'm I'm hovering right now, this one, is where I'll be writing my various codes that will be penetrating through website system. So you can see codes have been written, and these codes are but some of them are, are, are python 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 codes a lot of script codes so we can see bank transfer migrate installed so you'll be learning a whole lot here this is where you'll be writing your codes this is the coding error so you see let me write so you can see back compact documents you can see compact mode yeah, not compatible with quick smooth. So that is my programming console, my hacking programming console. Right. After that, you will come here. This is a Bitcoin miner. So as a hacker, as a hacker, you actually have multiple things running at the same time. For this one, you will see connecting to the Bitcoin. Bitcoin, let me say, um, um, the root network. So those in the networking class, actually, I will recommend everyone in the hacking class to at least uh, be following the networking class because you will need knowledge of networking because it's networks you are going to penetrate. So at least even if you are not in their class, be watching their videos, be watching their, their class videos and understand, get a bit of understanding because no, ha no hacker, every hacker understands networking, please. It's a recommendation. So those in this class who are not in networking class, I recommend that you at least even even if you are not enrolled in their class be following their class videos and understand that too because you'll be using networking ip addresses 
you'll be using network now you can see on my bitcoin miner you can see this networking ip address 128.154.26.11 everything you'll be doing you'll be needing networking networking is your as a hacker you need to know your net so this one to my password cracker you see my net network targets so i will advise you i will encourage you each one in the hacking class if you are not in the networking class try and be following their videos class videos to understand it because you'll be needing it it's a critical part of a hacker okay let's continue right so what you've been seeing is my hacking screen or my hacking window i will send you I'll, I'll show you how to open this thing so that you can navigate at your own page you can open it on your tablet phone ios um, mac windows you can open it at the end of the class i will show you okay we are going off sure. Yes. Sure. yes the networking class is also put in video channel please come again the networking they've not posted any video on the youtube channel oh, so have you have you asked them have you asked your facilitators no okay please do well and ask them or ask the blue coder club maybe you might have skipped them or something ask them for their for your videos in your class oh i'm not in the networking class Oh, well. okay. Yeah. okay okay please if you have if you know any networking student or something or you can dm me for that club too hello, sir. yes hello please. sir please the, 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 the facilitator for networking come again please aren't you the facilitator for networking yes i am but i send all the videos to blue code club for them to post oh, okay yes okay. they will process the video then they will post it there so I tell you, so please then you can help us with that. Come again. Then if you can help us with that. Okay, I, 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 will, I will try. But I don't know how, if you are not in the networking class, how you are going to get it. But I will, I will, I will try and tell them they should put their, their YouTube link in the general channel so that everybody can get access to the video. Oh, Sam, I think you should have said it at the beginning. The, or is it too to join the class? Come again. The networking class. The networking class. Okay. Like when we started the hacking, should I have told us that networking is recommended so that people okay. like me would have joined. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, for so sorry for that for that aspect. <laughs> but as a hacker, you need networking. You you are you are always hitting a network. Your target is hitting a network. Yeah, you don't hit a device you hit a network so you need a, a networking every hacker needs a networking idea knowledge at least how to how to address a network how to get the ip address of a network you should know the ip address of a network so networks network people that miss mistakes then you guys penetrate to organizations okay so i'll i'll, I'll make them post the 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 video, the YouTube link in the general channel so that everyone can get access to that. Okay, okay. I said, also, sir, please, uh, when we have the class uh, on networking, we can also share the link on the hacking class so that those who are yes. who want to jump in. Yeah. Yes, I will also share the link in the hacking class so that you can also join and feed of your knowledge on networking, at least a bit of knowledge on networking will help you okay so we are moving off from this screen we will come back you will come back and i will make sure every one of you gets this screen on his or her device you will go it will be your assignment to go open it on your device assess everything then we will come back and meet again then continue our takes from there now before I even restart i gave you resources to visit the dark web we have seven minutes to log out this and come back again. We are using this seven minutes to discuss. Yes, please, what you found at the dark web. Let us know. Yeah. Okay, sir, so, uh, I personally want to ask the person pertaining that. Because you said we shouldn't click on certain links, I was afraid. I navigated through most of the 
uh, the addresses, you, the link you gave us, I copied and I pasted and I, I was going through, but I couldn't explore more because I was kind of scared because of <laughs> the, the, the vulnerabilities involved, yeah. Yes, okay, okay, thank you. Yes, who else, please, as a hacker, you need to be curious. You need to visit the, who else visited it? The dark web. Really, you should go there, the dark web. As a hacker, you need to know that the dark web is, let me say, um, your community. You should go there. Anybody? Okay. Uh, sir. Yes. Sir, please. Uh, also, look. I, I got to a place where they said you can even buy, I think, guns and other stuff or so there. Buying guns and yes. but I wasn't really I wasn't really comfortable with the with the interface, how to really navigate was a problem for me, yes. Okay, yes. In this, fact, this all illegal that. things are done at the dark web. Buying of drugs, drugs, guns, now um, um, employing assassinators, whistle blowers, all dark things at the dark web so when you go there anticipate anything you can see a whole lot you 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 not you not even think it exists but a lot as a hacker or someone who have interest in hacking okay okay chief i hear you as someone interested in hacking you shouldn't you shouldn't avoid yourself from going to the dark web. At least you should visit it and know how your community is. It's your community. It's your community. If you become, um, um, uh, like, let me say, um, a black hat, that's where you'll be getting your contracts. Even with gray hats, they get contracts from there. And even with white hats, they get contracts or companies engages them from there. When a company needs an intensive hacker, you go to the dark web, please. You should visit the navigate through the dark web. Yes, as a hacker, you yes. Can... yes, please. Who is talking? Yeah, I did same, but um I use Atlas VPN. But when I open my Tor browser, it said your IP address is vulnerable. That was what the Tor browser was saying. So I used the Tor browser's VPN instead. But when I was navigating through the sites, it was looking very weird. So I just stopped waiting for you to take, like, take us through for some time. Okay, yes, it should be weird. It will be very weird, right? It's very weird, when, especially when you visit their, their YouTube version. It's called Onion2. On that website what you will be seeing is very weird you'll be seeing aliens videos of aliens extraterrestrial like these these things or these beings they exist you'll be seeing real videos of them in fact the dark web is where the secrets being hidden from people are being kept so please as a hacker you need to vent. yes talk so I wanted to ask, why was the Tor browser oh. telling my Atlas VPN that it's vulnerable? Okay, you see the Tor. Please hold on, I'm coming. Okay, I'm back. Now you see the Tor browser. Actually, what it does, it's the Tor browser is an organization and on their server is where the dark web is hosted. That's why you can't use any other browser to visit the dark web. So whenever you enter the dark web using the Tor browser, they know your IP address. They can tell you, Charlie, where you are going this is vulnerable your that is vulnerable they try to caution you it means the 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 the, the vpn you were using was, was very weak or you were using even at you see some vpn not that they are weak they are very strong but they make their free trial version very weak so that it will prompt you to purchase the premium one so the tall the tall organization detected that 
your VPN is very vulnerable to their end, they can see it. So that's why they prompted you that to keep you safe. So say, yes. Question. You said there is nothing free on the internet. So why are we using a free VPN? Okay. Now listen very carefully. The free VPN, they are not free forever. Note that. Okay. You will use for a certain limit and you can't use it again. Two, the free VPN, some will say use my free VPN, but I'll be showing you ads on your phone. Yeah. Yes, indirectly you are paying for the ads. So when you click on the ads, the company that has partnered with that VPN is pays the VPN for them to also make their money. So it's not free. Okay. Yes. Uh, please, uh, with regards to the VPN, okay. I think the the Proton VPN is quite stronger. I have I have uh, the Atlas and the Proton VPN both on my phone, and I realized that with the Proton was really really stronger when I use it yes. as compared to the Atlas. Yeah. Yes, some are stronger than some. Some are really stronger than others. Yeah. Yes. I also navigate through the dark web and then I just log <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going to the dark web and then I just logged out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And then I was watching um, um, the hacking championship on YouTube DevCon. And then even with DevCon, you know, they had someone's hack that was connected to internet. Hmm. Yes, actually, it, you, you, it's very weird place because if you are like, if you are a Christian, if you are a deeply Christian and you visit the dark web, you will never feel comfortable. If you are a Christian, I don't think you should venture into hacking. There are a lot, if you are the type of Christian, you don't want to sin. Now, who purely believe <laughs> the, 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 actually the 